my name is Lucia Gonzalez Epolito and I'm up here on the scaffold for the restoration of Michael Rios's mural that was originally painted in 1975. So 50 years later, we are restoring it with uh, Suaro Cervantes, Carlos Cookie Gonzalez, and um, it's our last week. And next week we should um, varnish and then we'll be done. Um, talk about what this mural represents, what story does it tell, and why is it important to restore it? Um, well, it's about, it's about BART and free public transportation. Well, not free, but <laughs> transportation for all. And, um, you know, that it shows all the people that work, put their hard labor into building it, into accessing it, all the people below. And then the city behind is, you know, that it's an urban landscape. So, you know, we're, we're part of this whole transportation city. And, um, and he, he has kind of little subtleties that, um, kind of like touch on different issues, but such as like the sky is red to um, be in solidarity with, you know, Maui. So it's, um, there's a, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a mural for the people, people first. Looking at interconnectedness of issues yes. and of people. Yeah, I think, I think so. And How then did just you... like it's a, I think it's an artistic expression of color and, um, you know, it's, it's different than what many other people do I think nowadays too you know I think a lot of murals have been very um, like kind of trying to be like realistic or the colors are somewhat more muted and Michael is a very like cartoony and also vibrant with his palette so um, it's it's very unique this mural. Why is it important to have vibrant colorful murals in places like this? Well, it, it just fits in with the culture of the mission. You know, this is a part of our, our cultura is very vibrant. So, um, and you know, this, um, I think this, this wall is really needed because, um, you know, the, the, the plaza here, the BART plaza has become, um, it's, it's been really sad. You know, it's, uh, there's a lot of um, poverty and crime People are starving and trying to survive, and there's a there's a heavy there's a heavy um, presence of police, and there's also a lot of drug abuse, and there's a lot of violence. So you know, it, I think it's just a kind of an example of the state of our society right now. And um, to have this mural, I think brings brings some joy and um, some sense of like. Hey, you know, like we're all here and we're all we all need to unite, and, or at least I hope it does. <laughs> and how did you get brought into this project? Um, well, Michael saw some of my work, and he really he said he really liked how I rendered certain things, and he liked my style. So, and he also wanted a woman artist on the team. Um, I think somebody had suggested me before, and then he took a look at my portfolio and he really liked it. How did you become a muralist? Uh, well, my father is an artist and he was always like encouraging me to do cartoons and stuff when I was a kid and and so I was always drawing and then growing up in the neighborhood I was really inspired by, you know, my, um, my landscape and then also my mentors, you know, I had um, Rene Yanez who passed away not too long ago was like an uncle to me. Uh, Juan Alicia now is my stepmother, but before was my teacher and my mentor. Um, Josh Sances has been like a godfather to me and, and really told me, showed me like the history of muralism. And, and then I ended up going to uh, San Francisco Art Institute where I met like Art Hazelwood, who um, is a political uh, poster, a screen printer and muralist and um, learned a lot from him as well. So. I think I've just been really influenced and, and, and it kind of like, whether I wanted to or not, just kind of set me on that path, you know? <laughs> That's beautiful. And so you said it was important for them to have a woman on the team. I think I think Michael wanted a, a woman's touch, he said. <laughs> well, and so I think that's really 
awesome. And you, some details about you. You're a muralist and you gave this little history of how that happened. Um, you're also a mom. You're also about to be a college student again. Um, what's the most important lesson that you gained from 